Masquera saying, Mure Zimbabwe, welcome to our channel, Zoom Confessions and Deep Secrets. Kana kariki kutanika kuku yapa na no channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Kana chungwa garo ka subscriber, don't forget to comment and share this video. Nasi Mure Zimbabwe, tabi graini ya buritu kwa ne ENCA ya ku South Africa, ENCA ya Buda, ichitawala iyo, ichiti there are some people, varimu zano PF, varimu zano PF wada kuchinja the constitution that kwa made the constitution will change the way you know so you know elect one ayo president the fula currently according to the constitution the president ano elect one the citizens um through my elections ne the citizens muri zimbabwe but is going to zano pia feda ku chinja mutemo wa president hotanga ku elect one uh ne the parliament muri zimbabwe atinga uh, zekuti Mwini wana sayi nye ya buritu kwa ni ENCA zori kundi Since Hazano PF ya kwa nisi ya ni two thirds majority ya kwa nisi wakigena two thirds majority Ya ma seats in parliament ya kuda kuti Ya kuda kuti president ya kwa nisi kwa nisi kwa nisi kwa through the parliament Zuna there are some people varuku pusha this notion kuti constitution dahi amendwe president wa sarudwa ni Parliament, mwere Zimbabwe, tingazie kuti, mwere wana sayi, nyaya ii, ya buri tukwa, ni ENCA, nyaya ya buda, mshuna mkunga opo, chungono, haka chuta in interview, ni ENCA, mwere Zimbabwe, opo, chungono, haka buda, achiri the guard, the Zano PF, ya kaona, kuti, the opposition leader, haripo, anu D1, yavano, mshinzi, and, awas kukwanisa, kukwanisa, they are only, Rigging my elections, but what can I say? We want to go back to the notion that we are in Zimbabwe, so we want they want to avoid the the fight. The notion that we are in Zimbabwe, what under this system? You put the president and you choose one parliament. Of course, since Marikos are going to take as an OPF and we are the two thirds majority in parliament, but in Zimbabwe, we are going to go and say we are this constitution. Can we achieve that? We are. Kana the president naga choose wa through the parliament, it's easy for them to win. Mwere Zimbabwe, tinga zi odmunu wa si, nyea ii, tu zi uza murufunga pa msoro pe nyea ii mu comment section. Well, the South African constitution um, was done in good faith. Uh, what ZANU PF um, wants to do, if it gets to uh, that point, is not being done in good faith. Um, in, the, the problem that ZANU PF has had in the past, uh, I would say, 24 years, is that they've faced uh, a very popular opposition leader in Morgan Changrai until his death, and the current opposition leader is even more popular. Uh, so it has forced ZANU PF to rig elections. Uh, but ZANU PF has done um, relatively well in parliament. So they are hoping that if they uh, dump the system that we have at the moment, where the president is elected directly from the people, uh, they can have a situation where the presidential candidate, whether it's Mnangagwa, if he gets a third term, or whether it's uh, Constantino Chuenga who is the vice president, they won't face the kind of uh, trouble that they've been facing against a very popular opposition leader. I've always argued that uh, the constitution that we have in Zimbabwe is one of the best, but a constitution is as good as uh, the people that are superintending over it. The problem in Zimbabwe is that the laws and the rules uh, and regulations are not followed by the current government. So, for instance, we had a shambolic election uh, on the 23rd of August. Uh, the election was shambolic not because of a best constitution, but because of rigging and because uh, of a ruling party that does not want to play fair against its opponents. Well, every political party has got substantial support, uh, but it, it, what matters is whether that substantial support is enough for it to win elections, and it certainly hasn't been enough for ZANU-PF presidential candidates to win elections. That's why they've had to resort to rigging and making sure that they manipulate the electoral system. <laughs> Zira Mega, zote hara na upo chungono, pana chetu kwa interview ni the ENCA ya ku South Africa yuko tara iyo, chini dia sano PF members wadau chinga mtema wadau chamaenda malos kuti pabdiswe the electoral process yangu ripoe kuti the president anu voteroa 
ni ma citizens then the parliament itanga ku vota so opo chingono azo vunzwa chinze uh, if the system he can apply uh, who is going to make sure kuti uh, the system ye kuti uh, the parliament no choose a president the uh, yaitwa zuri free and fair more in zimbabwe uh, kapindo ya chitora achete uh, the judiciary system is the one he change to make sure kuti right kwa in a free and fair election is right kwa in a free and fair way it means but the challenge ripo and they put the judiciary system in zimbabwe it captured a by example uh ye utenga right kwa my judges motor before my elections more in zimbabwe since the judiciary system in mono it captured and uh, it corrupt so eh uh, as kuzopera moshe throughout munzwe jopo chingono achitaura ega more in zimbabwe I think ultimately in any country the custodian uh, of, of, of the laws should be the judiciary. But in Zimbabwe the judiciary is heavily compromised, it's corrupt, it's captured. Um, and, and, the, and the ruling party has been using what one might call bribes. For instance, in the last election, the judges were given houses uh, with 400,000 US dollars each um, and money that we know is not going to be repaid. Uh, so if the judiciary is compromised, you won't have a situation like you have here in South Africa where uh, former President Jacob Zuma went to court and um, a court ruled, and that's the end of the story. That's the mm. problem that we have in Zimbabwe. We don't have courts that our citizens trust. So, Sadak, you know, being a puppy, Panaja says, we eat while you are in Zimbabwe, and the way Sadak and the way AU, she says, she tika, Mare Zimbabwe, Chimona Pindura, eh, or Sadak, Hapan, so you quit, Sadak and Gunyara, since the next day Sadak, Yaka Pindira, a Taiwan, my changes, I got to nine, I got to one day, since for example, a Sadak, Yaka Tarisa, um, Immigration, my illegal immigration is achieved by South Africa. I've seen your Zimbabwe, I've seen your name South Africa. So, I said that you have been here president of South Africa. I told you that my Sadak leaders could be what is overseeing in the issue. You could be my name Zimbabwe, I've been here for a while. I've been here for a while. I've been here for South Africa. I've been here for Zimbabwe. I've been here for a while. I've been here for a while. I'm in the comment section. Well, unfortunately, SADC seems not to be working because if SADC was working, you would not have, for instance, the immigration crisis that you have in South Africa, which was authored in other countries. So I'll give you a good example. 70% of women that give birth at Musina Hospital in Lipopo are coming from Zimbabwe. Uh, that is because of a crisis, that a political crisis which manifests itself through economics, which has made hospitals in Zimbabwe dysfunctional. If SADC was working, uh, the South African president would have clearly gone to SADC and said, look, we need to fix this uh, um, uh, problem that we have. But the problem